Okay, I'm on the uh, west coast Scottish island of Egg and uh, not such a fantastic day as I had on uh, Isla the other day when I, I was lo uh, looking at the wave power system, the limpet system. But we're here with the photovoltaic cells behind me which make up part of Egg's uh, three renewable electric system. Um, it's been absolutely fantastic to meet John Booth who was the director of Egg Electric when this system was set up. It had a theoretical three renewable system and because when ours was completed it was the first um, in the world to have harnessed three renewables in a grid together you know yes. um, so obviously it's caused a lot of interest since. So they equipped us with um, a web box so I, I can look at these parameters at home like see what the frequency is and so on and from that you, you can you know you can predict what? how the systems work. Everybody having 24 hour power. These photovoltaic cells we see behind us, they are rated at 30 kilowatts maximum capacity. Now one of the things you've really got to be careful with with renewables is the quoted maximum output versus what is actually uh, cap these things are capable of doing out day in day out. Um, and the same goes for the hydroelectric uh, system we saw. It was rated at 100 kilowatts but when we were down there it was producing about 40. Now 40 is still a, an excellent amount of power and it was still charging the batteries up nicely and supplying most of the houses but we always have to be careful when you're looking at these things that you're rating the power correctly and you're not just taking the top line figures you're actually taking the usable figures. Should the system be low on, on renewables it, i.e. it might not be a windy day so the turbines aren't running or there might not be much rain for the hydro then and the, the diesel generator needs to kick in they send a quick email out to the residents and they also put a, a little amber or, or a red notice up on the notice board in the town hall and that just tells people that they're running on diesel and what they found over the two years is that people's consumption actually goes down uh, by nearly 20% when they know that they're not running on renewables and I think that's just a lovely feedback system it's just uh, it's just nice and simple really As engineers I think we've always got to be a little bit careful though about looking at uh, places like this and thinking wow we can just take this type of model and apply it 100% to the mainland, you know, this is the way to gen we should generate electricity. There are actually only 95 people that live there and 50 odd uh, houses and businesses. We have millions of people living on the mainland and, and a massive power requirements. So although we can take uh, inspiration and uh, a huge amount of what we saw there and, try and, and, and that can help supplement our power that we need on the mainland, we do also need uh, our traditional sources like nuclear, coal and gas um, to, to actually provide most of our power needs for the certainly for the foreseeable future in the next few years to come.